Jed here to demonstrate how to share your screen during a session in the GoToDesktop app or web experience. I'll also show you how to pause and resume screen sharing as well as how to share audio content from your computer during a session. It is worth noting that only one person at a time can share their screen with a group. This video applies to anyone, including attendees without a GoTo account. I'll be using the desktop app for this video, but GoTo can be accessed to this site. I've already signed in as the user Lance Bingham and have started a session as the organizer. Take note that you may see different buttons here depending on which GoTo solution you're using. Those differences will not impact this video, however. Click this button to share your screen. Now you can decide what you want to share. You can share a single screen, all screens if you have more than one, or share only the content from a specific application like a Chrome browser. Let's talk about the screen option. If you have multiple monitors, select the desired one. Also, whatever you see on this monitor will be shared, even if that means you are switching between content. If you selected an application, by contrast, other attendees would only see the actions you take with that specific application. Lance is now sharing his screen. What we are seeing right now is from his viewpoint and is considered the regular layout. The screen that is being shared will be surrounded by a green border. As a presenter, you'll want to experiment with a view drop-down list to find the layout you prefer. Regular attendees will also want to experiment with these options when a screen is being shared with them to find their favorite layout. As a presenter, you also have other layout options. Click this button in the bottom right corner. In this layout, attendees are shown in a separate area and you have a smaller panel featuring all of your controls. You'll even find some additional buttons here, like being able to use drawing tools during a session. If you are not seeing the other attendees, click this button. To return to the previous layout, click the Merge button. Click the arrow next to the Share button. At this point, depending on what go-to solution you have, you may see additional options here. From here, we have the option to stop sharing completely, but let's instead click Pause Sharing. When screen sharing is paused, attendees will see the shared screen, but it will appear as a still image. If the presenter changes anything during this time, other attendees will not see it. Also, notice that the border around the shared screen is changed from green to yellow. There may be times when you want to freeze what is being shared with attendees. For example, this is helpful when you want to make an edit to a PowerPoint slide you are actively sharing. Let's click the share arrow again. Sharing can be resumed again by clicking Resume Sharing. Before clicking that, however, I should note that the Share Something Else option you see here will allow you at this point to change which screen or application you want to share if desired, but I won't worry about that at this time. If you want to stop sharing, you can click the arrow next to the Share button and select Stop Sharing, or just click the Main Share button. Let's talk about sharing audio with a screen. To share your computer audio, check this box. Please note that the Share System Audio option is only available when sharing your entire screen or sharing a Chrome tab. This can be helpful in cases, for example, when you want to play a video from YouTube. As mentioned earlier, only one person may share their screen at a time during a session. Alonzo now wants to share something. An attendee won't be able to share their screen unless the organizer gives them permission or if they have the right setting enabled for their account. Giving permissions can be done in one of two ways. First, hover over the window of the person you want to allow screen sharing permissions. Then click the More icon. From this list of options, select Make Presenter. 
I won't do that for now so that I can show you the other method. Click the people icon in the top right corner. In a similar fashion, hover over the desired attendee, click the more icon, and select make presenter. Now we can see the content being shared from Alonzo's screen. As mentioned earlier, even though I'm not the presenter now, I can still click the view options drop down list to choose my favorite layout while someone else is sharing their screen. There is also a way you can permanently let attendees quickly share their screen without having to ask the organizer. When using the desktop app or web version of GoTo, click your profile picture and select settings. Then from the list of options on the left, click meetings. Scroll down until you find the section for attendee experience and click the box for give attendees full access to screen sharing. You can enable or disable that setting as often as needed. That's all there is to share your screen during a session and go to with the desktop app or web experience.